Hi, hi guys, welcome to my channel yet again. If this is your first time probably watching this channel, I'd love to personally welcome you to this channel. And those of you that have been watching and haven't subscribed yet, and also those newbies that have just landed to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe, press the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified whenever i post a new video and yeah don't forget to like if you do like the content of course and if you don't like it feel free to thumbs it down anyways right into the topic for the day so today i have decided as per the topic as you can see we talking about prepping the skin before putting on makeup i've seen that this tip is mostly overlooked by people and oftentimes i would say yeah if you're doing like a normal day makeup there's not much need to prep your skin but if you do prep your skin then it actually your makeup comes out even more flawless than you you uh, not actually prepping your skin prior to putting on your makeup so what is the importance of prepping your skin before you actually put on your makeup for one you're an artist right and just like a painting artist like you know they need a great and clean canvas before they can actually put the brush and start working the very magic on that canvas they cannot use like a dirty canvas and expect the greatest work take for instance uh, the Mona Lisa the painter there I mean you and me wouldn't have been wowing at the Mona Lisa had the painter decided you know what I'm just going to use a dirty canvas no they needed to use a clean canvas and they needed you know to work around a clean canvas the canvas in this case being your skin so you need to prep your canvas mostly i'd advise like if you're having like you want to do your makeup like for you know intense uh makeup um like brighter makeups like you know you want to put heavy heavy makeup on your skin or even your day to day, it's actually good for you to do to to actually prep your skin if you've got the time to. Please go ahead and do the step. You thank me later. Once you get the step done, you definitely are gonna thank us later. Yep. So the steps that we're gonna be taking in prepping the skin, basically, I'll say uh, at minimal the four, but then there's your lips so you need to prep them so that would be five and also just to make sure that even as you put your conceal as you conceal your eyes as you can see i've I'm, i've come on here like bare i cleanse my face so that's number one you first definitely need to cleanse your face before anything else i cleanse my face off camera and as it is right now my face is bare and we just gonna prep it up and yeah number six i would say there'll be six uh six steps to actually prepping your skin but basically it's four the two it's for your lips uh and the other one for your under eye your eye bags as you can see right now i've got slightly under bags showing here but yeah we're gonna prep that and i'm gonna show you exactly how to go about doing that so stay tuned and guys this is no by all means a skincare routine this is just for you to prep your skin prior to putting on your makeup so stay tuned if you want to have that flawless uh, makeup that will last all day like your makeup will be flawless the whole entire day stay tuned watch this video until the very end and you're definitely going to see the benefits of actually prepping your skin prior to putting on your makeup and avoiding that cakey cakey look because i've seen most people guys you know like you'd see a person in the weekend the face is all so cakey and you go like 
okay like no we're doing it the wrong way guys prep your skin in as much as yes you're trying to hide stuff under it your your makeup needs to glide nicely onto a clean canvas so you need to make sure your canvas which is your skin in this case is nicely prepped so that even as you put on your makeup all those foundations because we put a lot of things like you know the foundation the primers the foundations uh and the concealers the contour, uh, contouring, uh, what's this, concealers as well, the, the eyeshadows, guys, there's so much, the setting powders, setting spray, there's so much we put on our makeup, and that can be really, really exhausting when it comes to the skin, and after some time, yes, at the first time, it might look okay when you put it on, and at times it might not even look that great because I mean the skin is not prepped it's it, it's not gliding through it's it's not gliding through smoothly there's some hidden you know dirt in the skin that's preventing <laughs> that's preventing your makeup to actually just glide through flawlessly and in the end you're gonna have a very cakey looking like you know makeup which is not good side mm -mm. it's not a good side so for those tips stay tuned and i'll see you in the episode so these are six steps six yeah six steps to actually prepping your skin stay tuned okay so firstly i'm just gonna see my face it's my first step i'm putting my clothes then inside because i've got uh, as well as an introductory workout routine which has the first option is to kind of break this down you've got your skin you've got your body hair and your acne you've got um, your sources and your skin so I basically clean my face for like what, two to three minutes uh, the first two minutes I don't have like what any product on and then I only have any For step two, I actually went in with my aloe vera scrub, uh, just exfoliating my face so that we actually use all the dead skin, make sure that our skin is totally exfoliated and even as we put our product in, at least it glides on smoothly. It's got that natural, you know, smooth glass kind of feel texture to it so just basically just uh, exfoliating removing all the dead skin cells and all the dirt on the skin and yeah after that we rinsed it off after exfoliating you can basically use any uh, exfoliator that you have if you don't have any exfoliator that you probably use you can get sugar and uh, tomato and just scrub off And for step three, I was exfoliating my lips just to make sure they're soft and plumpy and moisturized. I used uh, a lemon and I added honey and a bit of sugar. You can either add sugar or salt depending on what exactly you're trying to achieve. So it is basically if you want to dry them off, sugar, if you want them to be moist. So I personally added sugar because I want them to be moist. Yeah, I couldn't stop actually licking that combination. It's a soury sweet combination of the honey, uh, sugar, and um, the lemon. So basically just scrubbing up the lips nicely so that they're nicely moisture and plump. And uh, just to give it that natural even skin tone and just to exfoliate any dead skin on the on the lips oh my god i couldn't stop i couldn't stop actually licking off that the the, the combination of the lip exfoliator that i diy made 
and for step four we're just adding cucumber as it is in high in uh, 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 water so we're just trying to hydrate our eye bags so that our eye bags are actually nicely hydrated to make sure that when we add that concealer we don't have that puffiness appearing on our under our eye bags so basically as you see as you saw earlier on my eye bags were kind of plumped up so it's because they're lacking hydration and i actually did this for about uh, two to three minutes and yeah just making sure all the hydration is going into under my eye bags yeah it's a long way actually but we held in there and we waited until our eye bags were finally uh i'm sure you can see the difference and for step five i went in with a very branded our own branded rich edge rose water which uh, i use as a toner in this case you can use as a toner or you can actually use it as a deep cleanser so in this case i basically use it as a toner so just to tone up my face and i we definitely love the smell of this rose water because it definitely has that authentic uh, uh rose smells if you're into the floral red rose uh smell then you definitely love the scent of this so we're just patting it in right now at the moment make sure it's nicely patted in in all our areas just to make sure that the pores are also closed and the skin is nicely toned i couldn't resist but go in for the second spray and we did that and oh the smell <laughs> yeah lovely so sensational cooling to the mind and your senses and we just patted that in again and we let it dry And for last and final step, I went in with uh, castor oil. Yes, castor oil just to moisturize. I used this as a moisturizer. I just got 100% uh, um, cotton bud, which I got from my local uh, uh, drugstore, which is a chemist. So it's 100% cotton. You can use whatever cotton you have, but make sure it's a 100% cotton and i just dabbed a little into the castor oil i just and then i just started dabbing on my face i, I poured that a little bit on the on the cotton one they said dabbing on my face i dab 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 with the cotton wool and then later on i actually decided to go in with my hands which were clean and washed and i just started spreading and rubbing that castor oil deep into the skin and yeah the benefits of castor oil it's good properties that stimulate the production of collagen which is a Thank plus. Thank you guys for watching and yeah this is how you create the skin and now our skin is actually ready for us to actually glam it up with the makeup. Watch out please subscribe to my channel and press the notification button so that you get notified when i post how we're going to glam up i'm going to do a tutorial on how we're going to actually glam up this face now that it's ready and done <laughs> thanks for watching bye guys